Oh, 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 oh! We, we listen, this is, this is, this is a different kind of video right now. Because I, I don't know what the world is coming to. Like, there's, there's a lot of times that I think to myself that people cannot be dumbasses as much as they're being dumbasses, okay? And I'm going to say this, I'm going to be real with this. I, 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 I watched The Rock came back. The most electrifying man in all of entertainment. Not just sports, by the way. In all of entertainment, okay? He came back. And first of all, I'm pretty sure we all knew Rock was going to face off against Roman Reigns one day. It was going to be the Rock that dethrones Roman Reigns. That was inevitable. From the start of the bloodline, we all knew it was going to go down. And now it's here. Finally. The pop from the crowd is unbelievable. And then you see the comments on the WWE YouTube page. Then you see the comments on Twitter. Then you see the comments of all social media. Not everyone, by the way, right? Everyone saying, we want Cody. Now listen, before we get started, before... I don't even know if I'm over this. I, I'm never going to be over this. I'm going to make him videos all week about this. I'm going to be repeating myself all week about this. Because I cannot take this right now. First of all, when The Rock is not in WWE, we all ask for The Rock to come back. We want The Rock to take out Roman Reigns. We need The Rock here. And, and then he comes. And yeah, all right, cool. It was a little bit like, all right, Cody's giving up his spot for Rock. Cool. That's WWE writing, by the way. That's that's CM Punk should have got injured, right? That probably messed up tons of storylines, right? CM Punk should have won. CM Punk should have ch uh, challenged off with Seth Rollins. Rock was gonna face him against Dan Roman Reigns, but then CM Punk get injured. Cody has to win. Then Cody gets shafted for the Rock. Now the Rock is a bad guy. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Hashtag people say they want Cody Rhodes. Get out of my face. Are you? What are you smoking? Listen to him. what are you smoking? Okay, listen, no, 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 no. We want Rock, right? We want The Rock. The Rock versus Roman Reigns. You guys, you, listen, y'all you, forgetting that Cody left WWE? Y'all forgetting that Cody was on a mission to destroy WWE with a new company called AEW? Y'all forget that? It wasn't that long ago. <laughs> Now you're saying that you want Cody over The Rock? <laughs> Listen to me, you show me one video. One video where the pop is louder for Cody Rhodes than any of The Rocks. Cool. Well, let me tell you something like this, 9.9999999%. The Rock gets the biggest pop. Everyone stands up. Even when Cody Rhodes first came back, to Royal Rumble. Now, don't get me wrong, people who started going crazy, but it wasn't the mega star pop. If that was, if you smell, bro, bro, we want Cody. We, we, we want, we want. I'm not saying I don't like Cody. I like Cody. He's a respectable guy. He's a kind soul. He's a kind hearted soul, okay? He's a good man. And I'm not saying nothing bad about him. I love the dude. The way he is with the fans, the way he is in WWE. He's a nice, kind person. But to sit there and make out that The Rock is a bad guy because he's taking his place at WrestleMania against Roman Reigns, where in the end it should have been that way anyway, is mind baffling to me. Blame the WWE story writers, okay? They don't mess this up. The Rock and Reigns was inevitable. This was the only way for it to happen. The only way. Rock was taking Reigns down from the beginning, damn it. From the damn beginning, okay? That's, everyone knew that. But now everyone has found this crazy new love for Cody Rhodes to take, he had his chance. Okay, I don't care. I don't care if he got screwed. Roman Reigns and the Bloodline has screwed up many opponents, okay? I don't give a damn. The Rock may get screwed, who knows, but I still want to watch it. Okay? I want to watch that. Cody Rhodes had his opportunity. He didn't do it. Get in the back of the line, bro. You won the Royal Rumble, cool. You probably shouldn't have the one, won the Royal Rumble. I'm pretty sure CM Punk was meant to win the Royal Rumble. God damn it. CM Punk 
Even if he did want to Royal Rumble, right? And Kurt Cole has got his face on WWE 2K24. He's got his face on WWE 2K24. Like, guys, come on, man. He's got a W right there. It's not The Rock's face on it. The Rock hasn't come back to WWE and claimed the face of 2K24. We are talking about man. Rock what a pow, move it right there. Cody can finish his story, right? Don't worry, it hasn't got to be rushed. Why is everyone thinking that this is a damn race? It's a marathon, it's a marathon, okay? Remember what Paul Heyman said when he writes stories? It's not how quick you can finish it. It's not how quick you can get through the storyline. It's a marathon. You take the storyline slowly. You build it up. The 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 intense of the story, the intensity of the storytelling, the the everything that comes with the whole build up. That's what we want. That's what we need. Now, if Cody Rhodes can't do it this year, it's next year. We'll get it. The work ain't gonna be here all the time. We want Cody. Let's start a movement. But first of all, yeah, Roman Reigns pro um, profile. Roman Reigns promo that was talking garbage against uh, Seth Rollins was fire. Damn it, he got mic skills now. Roman Reigns has mic skills. I like Roman, bro. Roman Reigns best heel, bro. Oh, oh, bro, the heel that Roman Reigns is now. I don't, I don't, I don't think I could ever have imagined being this good. I think, we can, I think we can all say that. I don't think any of us was expecting Roman Reigns to be this good of a heel. His might skills just get better and better. Like, let's just be honest, man. But I'm not, I'm not joking, guys. Like, I'm here. I don't even want to go on Twitter at the minute because the amount of people I'm seeing saying that we don't want The Rock, we want Cody. But it's, I'm, I, I feel like a lot of, I feel like this is what I feel like actually. I feel like all the new school people that watch wrestling want Cody Rhodes and all the old school people like me want The Rock. But if y'all know who The Rock is, whether you young, old, whatever, The Rock is electrifying. The Rock is not just here to, to ride something. The Rock can bring that wherever he goes. No matter how long The Rock has gone from WWE, no fan will forget what he has done in WWE, what he can do in WWE. The pop from the crowd just says it all. Like I said, The Rock's pop is bigger than anyone's pop. I'm telling you right now, when The Rock comes out, when The Rock loses hit, everyone stands up. Everyone is cheering. Now, like I said, I ain't got no disrespect to any other wrestler. No one. Okay, I love a good heel. I love Cody. Cody may be the one to take the belt eventually from someone and finish the story. I don't know. But right now, I'm ready for Rock and Reigns. I'm ready for it, right? It's the way. It is just the way it's meant to be. We all knew it was going to go down. How long have we been asking for this? How long have we been asking for Rock and Reigns? We've been asking for this for a hot minute. And now we get it? We don't want it? No, no, sorry, not we. No, we. I, I, ain't, I ain't in that majority right there. That ain't me, bro. I'm the We Want Rock, all right? First of all, I ain't even playing that game. I don't even know why I said that. I ain't even playing that game. Listen, let's deal with it, okay? It is what it is. We all gonna enjoy it. We all love it. We all know what we want to see. Let's leave it away. Let's just hold the rock here. Don't get discouraged in coming back to WWE after all this time. Because at the end of the day, he may love this sport. He may love WWE. But if everyone going to treat him the way that certain people are treated now, he may never want to come back to WWE. you you got to remember, he ain't got to do it for the money. This guy is multi-billionaire probably already anyway. Look at the movies he does. Look at all the money he's already got. He ain't coming back for the money. He don't need the money. Well, obviously, you can never have enough money. You can always have more money. But it's not like the guy is broke. It's not like he's just coming back like Goldberg or something just to cash in on a cash cow. That ain't The Rock, bro. I think it's disgusting, by the way. This whole video has been... No, nah, bro, I'm making more videos. I'm making more videos. Oh, damn it. Reigns gonna get that last Superman punch in right here. But puts him down. Comment down below. I, I, I'm, I'm curious to see what you guys are all thinking. Are you, are you wanting Cody or are you wanting The Rock to face Reigns? Hear me up in the comments below, man. I, I, I just want to hear what you guys are saying, but 
at the end of the day, Cody Rhodes just wins this again. Oh, damn it. How does Cody Rhodes win all these matches? <laughs> oh, no. Why are you going to do that to me, Cody? Cody Rhodes wins it. Like, really? I'm not saying I don't like that. I love Cody. But I ain't feeling this whole argument of it should be Rock. It should be Cody instead of Rock. I ain't feeling that. I ain't feeling that. He gonna get his time to shine. He gonna get that time. Don't worry. Don't worry, bro. He gonna get it. He will. He will take down and get that belt. Don't watch that. Don't watch that. Okay? We making more videos. I ain't finished my run. I ain't finished it. Come back tomorrow. See what we gonna do then. Trust me, we're going to finish it then. Tomorrow, I might even do more. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next episode, my dudes.